Hi guys, uh, it's Phil. Uh, sorry I've been a while, uh, not been in touch, but uh, there you go. Uh, anyway, uh, everything in this uh, life at the moment is sort of pretty much uh, fast paced and uh, I think uh, it's nice sometimes to slow down and relax and so I'm just offering you a little few minutes of slow TV. Uh, this is a, a video about uh, a model that I've just built, which is uh, a model that I, I inherited that was sort of half built. Uh, and it's a lovely old 1960s slope soaring rotor control glider. And um, slope soaring is when you fly a, a, a model or a full size glider uh, near a hill and the wind comes up the hill and although the glider is always going down if it can find some air that's going up faster than the glider is going down then the net result is that you stay up in the air so uh, this is a little video about that so this is a model called the Grautner Amigo from a very respected German company it's designed by Fred Malitke back in 1960 and it's a really beautiful thing um, and has the typical German attention to detail, as you can see from the plans here. Really nice bit of kit. And this shows it when I built all the wooden frame. And uh, here we have the finished article, which is uh, covered in a shrink uh, film plastic. And I even managed to get all the vinyl transfers and decals that uh, should go on it. So it looks exactly like the uh, one on the box lid. Okay, let's uh, go see see it fly it and uh, see how we get on. So this is the Grand Amigo from the nineteen sixties, and uh, this is its first air flying gentle breeze at Ivy Hoe Beacon. So I'm going to go out from the hill and try and find a little bit of lift. And when I can, I'll come past and show you what it looks like. So I found a little bit of lift there. There's only about uh, five, six, seven miles an hour wind. And I'll just bring her nearby and hopefully we'll get a look at her. There she goes. Perfect model for this sort of wind and this is a very magical place. This is Ivinghoe Beacon in Bedfordshire about 35 miles north of London and uh, Nearby is the Dunstable Gliding Club where the full-size gliders fly and this place Ivinghoe Beacon is a mecca for model flyers and gliders and I've been flying here for nearly 50 years since I was at school and it's a it's a lovely hill that uh, has the wind uh, that you can you can fly in almost any direction because the hill has lots of different slopes facing all the different wind directions and I'll come past again and uh, maybe we'll land this time. Let's see what happens. I'm going to slow it up a bit there. And just let it sink towards us. Oh, maybe we'll go down again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Might fit tight. Maybe I'll land in a different direction. I'm trying to land into the wind, but I'm going to try something a bit different. This time, I'm sure we'll land. Well, I'm no, mostly done. done.
course, this is how to really do it. And uh, yeah, he just flies maybe a touch better than I do, but there you go. He's come to say hello. Oh, a red kite, I think. Just paying uh, his respects to the amigo. Well, I hope he's found his supper. Good luck. Off you go. Bye.